Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Kishalaj. So many of you are, uh, uh, you know, asking me to share my gate journey in, in this channel in a, in a video format. So actually, I, you know, many of you know that I, I prepared for a long time to crack the gate. Actually, I, I, I was preparing since 2013 and finally I cracked it in 2017. And in the meantime, I was working in different companies like TCS, Accenture. So, you know, my journey was not a smooth, smoother one. So it took me some time to finally crack gate in 2017. And I have actually written a blog regarding my journey uh, in 2017, the year I cracked, cracked the gate. But people are more comfortable in audiovisual medium nowadays. So I, I also thought let's make a separate video so that, you know, my journey will motivate many of you who are currently preparing for gate. And you will get some sort of, you know, inspiration to kind of stick into the preparation, don't give up and finally crack the gate. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, the, the journey started in 2012. So the year I graduated my BTEC uh, from Meghna Institute of Technology, one of the, uh, one of the private colleges in, in West Bengal. And that time I didn't have any plan to appear for GATE. I mean, I was very happy that I got a job in Accenture in Hyderabad and I was very happy I joined there in Accenture. Uh, in Hyderabad and my life there was pretty pretty much very good I mean as I, as I said in, in my last video that when you join a job initial few months will be the honeymoon period so we are getting a decent money there we are traveling we are going to places we are we are you know enjoying our weekends into some restaurants some malls doing parties and all so I was very happy initially and I, I didn't have any plan that time that I will be going for gate and I'll be cracking it and reaching to IIC or something. So I couldn't even imagine these, these things that time. So my life was very, very happy. But after a certain, uh, certain uh, period, like after four or five months, when I finally put into some project, I realized that, you know, this, this the work that is given to me is not something that, that I am expecting. I mean, I can do much more than what I'm giving. So I was in a support project. And uh, many of you know who are currently working that support projects are so much boring and monotonous in, in these IT companies. So that time actually I started thinking of GATE and MTech because I always have these uh, thoughts in mind that whatever I'll be doing, that I'll be doing in the technical line. I won't be going to administrative line or uh, like managerial, managerial positions like MBA or UPSC. That, that was not never my plan. So I was always thinking that whatever I'm doing, I'll be doing in the technical field. So then that time, you know, I thought, okay, let's uh, started preparing for GATE. So what I did was like, I, I left the job in Hyderabad, I left Accenture, I came back to Kolkata. Actually, in, in my placement in, in on campus in my BTEC college, I got two offers. One was Accenture and another TCS. So I joined Accenture because Accenture was the first company to you know give me the offer later. TCS offer came after seven months. So I worked for Accenture for around 10 months. I left the job and then I came, came back to uh, Kolkata, my hometown. And I, I, I joined TCS Kolkata and parallelly I started preparing for GATE. So this is the year 2013 I am talking now. So that time like the job that the project I got in TCS was a development project. So I was like uh, like uh, in, in, in any any IT companies, the development project, there is a lot of lot of work pressure and time period is also not flexible. Like, like it is not like nine hours of job. It may be 10, 12 extended up to 14 hours also. So with that, that project in TCS, I started preparing for gate parallelly and whatever time I'm getting apart from my job hours, I, I, I was just preparing for gate. Now, this is how I was preparing. I was taking frequent leaves uh, here and there within 15 days, 20 days, I was taking leaves. Weekends I am utilizing properly and I this is how I prepared for 2013 and I appeared for uh, GATE 2014. And that, that year was a nightmare for me. So 2014, the paper was set by IIT Kharagpur. Uh, incidentally, this time also 2020-2021, the paper is being, will be being set by IIT Kharagpur. And in 2014, the paper was too tough. I mean, I have not seen that much tough paper in, in last 10 or 12 years. So that was probably the toughest paper uh, what I have seen in, 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 in the recent times. So my rank was, I think, around 6,000. I got around 30 to 31 marks. And it was, it was a complete nightmare. My preparation also was not that good that time. So I, I thought, okay, now my preparation was not good. I have not um, practiced too much of too much of previous year questions. I haven't like given any mock tests and all. So let's let's prepare in a better way and go for one more time. So again, I started preparing for the same way. I was I, I, I was I was I was doing the job in TCS and I was preparing parallelly. 
so but this time i i focused more on the previous year papers more on the mock tests and this is how i prepared again parallelly i was taking frequent leaves uh, i was i was taking leaves before the gate examination also so i have taken like around one month of uh, leave before the before the gate examination so that you know within, uh, during that time before the gate examination i can be in the zone so i don't have to go to the office because whenever i used to go to office i used to get distracted and all and this is how i prepared and appeared for 2015 that paper was said by iit kanpur and that was a decent paper 2015 and this time i i got a rank of uh, 800 around 798 and my score was like like out of 100 it was like 52 or 53 now i got the confidence that okay now i have a 1000 th- around 1000 rank with the job in hand i am not preparing fully so if i can if i can crack a 800 rank with my job so if i leave the job and start preparing obviously i mean i can can reach without within within 100 so then what i did was so i again my my actually my plan always was to, was to be in a good iit and isc and i was never satisfied with a 800 rank i want to be in top 100 and i want to be in some college like iic or iit bombay so what i did was i worked for some time and at the, like around 2015 um, end i left uh, left my job and started preparing fully and this time i took a coaching institution i won't take the name i have i did it i i took admission in some coaching institution in kolkata and i was preparing fully and my preparation was going really well so i was able to perform very good in the mock test i i was able to perform very good in the classrooms and uh, that time actually even i appeared for the isro uh, written test also and the written test also i cleared before the gate examination the result came uh, came out Uh, and my preparation was pretty well and i was pretty sure that in 2016 i will be in top 100 because it was it was pretty good it was going but there is a twist in the story the only exam i i did very bad or like what i can say i mean i performed too bad in in the only exam in that year was the gate examination and uh, i did around 6 to 7 silly mistakes and that cost too much for me i mean i got around 60 marks and uh, my rank was around 549 and with that rank i was able to understand that i won't be able to get any top iits for the mtech course work and uh, i was I, that time actually was a bit frustrated for me frustrating for me that uh, i started thinking that okay now three times i have tried i am not able to crack it so maybe you know it's not in my destiny i mean cracking gate being in iit and that was a pretty tough moment because i don't have any job also uh, i have to rely on my family for the for the financial fact and all though my family family didn't have any pressure they are my my father was my father was uh, father was doing his job so uh, he 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 always supported me and he never told me to take the responsibility of family but still you know you have this you can understand like you know i mean whenever you don't have a job and the goal you are you are planning that that i will be having a good rank and going to mtech but somehow it didn't click that year so that was a frustrating moment for me so i started thinking of other options like mtech research nits and all so i i i appeared for mtech research in iit bombay i got rejected from there i didn't go and get call from iisc and iit madras uh, uh, i was i i i appeared for isro interview that year in 2016 i'm saying i got rejected from there also and i appear i i applied to for nits different nits in cmt but i got a uh very i mean i i got nit surat uh, nit raurkela in the first round in the last round it got promoted to nit kalikut and somehow in the in the in my heart i was not able to accept this one because i knew that if i can you know somehow manage the gate exam i mean my preparation was well i know i mean i mean any 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 good day i will be able to i will crack the gate within 100 rank but because i have i was not able to do so i i did some silly mistakes and all so i i am in a in a situation where i am not in the top 100 so it was around like august not august actually july or may or Jul- may june around this time in 2016 i was pretty frustrated and i was thinking what to do again my family supported me they said okay let's uh, you know give a try one more try and i also thought okay let's give another try this is the fourth attempt actually to be specific so i was giving and i was it is it's very tough actually i mean 
uh, you are trying for three years and again you again you have to study the same things you have to follow the whole process again and you have to appear for for gate examination once again but i somehow you know managed my whole wheel force and i started from the beginning in the august 2016 and and the one thing my mistake that i analyzed for the from the last time 2016 is that i didn't analyze the mock test i mean whenever i used to do well in the mock test i was so happy and whenever i was i was not doing well that is a crucial phase that whenever you are not doing well in the mock test you have to analyze that why your marks are not coming well in that mock test the questions won't be coming in the gate the question of the mock test won't be coming in the gate but the situation will come like I mean, how you are how you are reacting on a tough paper how you are managing the time so those things you have to analyze like where you are you are taking more time which questions where you are not you are much more comfortable which of the part you have to do and like which of the question you will attempt first the active part or the two marks question or one marks question these things i didn't analyze in in 2016 and that is the problem I, I didn't analyze my failures so that is the problem that cost me and that i rectified in in my next uh, preparation that is the preparation for 2017 so this is so i i first uh, pre, uh, you know revised the subjects once again in the month of august and september and then from october i started giving mock tests so i i think i have given a lot of mock tests in that year i mean whatever the mock tests i got from different institutions i have given them and i analyzed them each of them that where i'm lagging what are the silly mistakes i am doing all of them i i i have i have analyzed and i have a different uh, diary to keep a note of what are the mistakes i am doing so that i won't repeat it in the next examination so this is how i planned and in the mid time they, again i appeared for a iso examination and we i have a interview in the december uh, 6th on of uh, 2016 so that also i appeared and this is how i i i kind of uh, took the preparation again and i tried to rectify all my mistakes that i did in, for the last three attempts and in the in the in the in the january month of 2017 just before the gate i have appeared for a for a for a set of the last year which i didn't see for the last one year and i scored around 71 or 72 that in that particular particular uh, set and then i was somehow feeling that okay now maybe i am in a better shape and maybe this time i'll be able to you know crack it to the my desired rank that is uh, within 100 but pressure was there i mean i can't express how much how much pressure was there when i was appearing for the gate examination in 2017 like i didn't have a job for the last uh, one and a half years i don't know what i'll do if i fail again in 2017 uh, but somehow i believe in god i believe in destiny and i i give my best shot i knew that you know if it is my day i will be in the, will, will be in the top 100 or top 50 even and uh, so i just need a bit a bit uh, like help of luck maybe you can say so that i don't do the silly mistakes again and this was my mindset so i go to iit kharagpur that is very near to my my home so and appeared for the uh, set 2 in 2017 luckily it was the easiest set of 2017 and luckily i got a good rank this time so i checked my answers key after one year one week of the gate examination in in different sites and i was getting around 75 or 76 so yeah that was a relief i mean uh, finally i was in the top top 50 my rank was 37 in 2017 and with the mean meantime i also got selected for the isro isro uh, scientist position so when i cracked the gate finally in 2017 uh, so it was i mean i can't express how happy i was uh, i mean i didn't i didn't expect that this much appreciation will come from so so many friends so many uh, so many you no know, people so they will appreciate me so yeah that was kind of my journey so i started in 2013 so there are three three failures but yeah one one thing that many people ask me that how i got motivated during this uh, this phase so the thing is that my 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 rank was gradually improving so that was kind kind of uh, one information that always made me motivated that okay i'm improving at least so that i will also suggest you that please keep track of what you are doing how how imp how how your performance is improving or not if it is not improving then then there is a concern i mean always try to improve your performance from the last attempt so that will help you to stay motivated and 
that's it i mean i will i, I will always suggest you i mean i will i won't recommend you all that you also take four years and then crack obviously not try to crack it as early as possible for me for the first two years i was preparing with jobs so you know it's a bit difficult i'm not saying it's impossible but it's a bit difficult to manage both of things i i, I couldn't manage them uh, that time and then you know like uh, without without job also i mean give your best thought i mean don't do too much silly mistakes and also that it will it will cost cost a lot to you so that's it i mean i mean if you really want to be in top iits and iisc so you know that motivation should be inside i mean you you should have this this kind of attitude that i can do anything from for, for that so that kind of uh, the motive that kind of the kind of desire should be inside you so that you know you can you can crack it i mean my goal was like i will be cracking the gate by hook or by crook i will do anything for the career i can leave the job i can stick it for two years so that kind of i think desire should be there uh, to crack, crack the gate if you if you are failing if you are not able to crack the gate so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you have liked the video and you got some sort of motivation from this particular video so there is always a uh, there is a better better way of telling these stories in in my blog so i have I've written there in the details so here i i try to make a summary within 10 15 minutes so that you know you will be able to get the main idea from from the my journey so if you like the video please like it and share it many people so that you know all the aspirants will get the motivation from my my story and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you got all the notification on time so that's it guys that's your today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye